Howdy, Happy Camper. JT here, and it's another fine day out here in Southwest Oklahoma. Well, the hardest part of driving is preparing for the worst. Whether it's dealing with a flat tire, you know, running out of gas, or the car will not start, or even a carjacking situation. Oh, by the way, I did make a video on protecting yourself in case that happens, or it might happen to you anyway. Hopefully not. But let's talk about dealing with the winter situation. I bet a lot of people just take it for granted and just wait to see what will happen. No. Don't be in that category. This video is an example of my winter loadout to get me ready for the winter season. It's like hiking, camping, or even getting ready for the summer heat. You want to be prepared and not get caught flat-footed out there. When I was in the army and we'd go out on various missions, we would have a preset loadout. Now I can't speak for the other MOSs out there. Eleven Bravo like myself, you know, in the infantry, this is what we do. Used to and these loadouts are used to maximize the accomplishment of the mission. A loadout for a recon mission versus a more equipped loadout for a raid and ambush is different. Same idea here for the winter loadout. Mine is based on my location, typical weather in my area, and of course, what I expect might happen. So if you do a winter loadout like this, base it on your own particular condition. If some of you watch this and have a different take on it, then feel free to comment below and give your ideas. The more we share, the better the world becomes. Take a look and hopefully you will give you an idea what you can do and put it in your spare tire compartment. Hey, it's best to show and tell, so enough jibber jabber, right? Plenty of room here still left to put any items you might want. This is my winter loadout right here. Of course, this goes under tires in case you're stuck in deep snow for traction. We're gonna work our way down, change your clothes there, uh, zip ties, long ones, 24 inch, extra shoes right here jacket there change your shirt okay coverings there jump starter nice portable one i've got in case needed or you have to get someone out in a jam these are straps snow straps i'll show you in case you don't want to use these right here or you can take both again you never know what kind of situation you might be in or encounter some might be needed for drastic measures even a shovel in case you have to dig yourself out Okay, gloves right there, first aid kit. And down there, I have a power inverter in case I need it. Goes right in there, nice and neat. This is nothing more than a cutout from a computer case. And again, you don't have to buy anything fancy. I just, somewhere there, you can find any kind of foam and cut it out yourself. Here is small little toolbox with everything I might need. Hammer, adjustable wrench, screwdrivers, you name it in there, flashlight. Okay, razor blades, things like that. Underneath, of course, here, lug nuts, along with my Milwaukee impact driver right here. And underneath here is, of course, a pair of coveralls, in case I want to put it on. It's tucked nice and neat under there, just like that, so it doesn't bounce around. And of course, Right here, I got it marked which one's going to use. That's for the Tucson and also for the RAV4 Prime. You've seen this before. Yes, I did take out the spare. I don't need that. And I'm not going to use that. Other stuff I need. Why am I carrying this? Well, just in case I need to you help someone out. You want to do the same. Machete, of course, in case something happens or you need it. Out uh, there. I'm not trying to tell you to be a doomsday prepper or be paranoid or anything else of that matter. All I'm doing is sharing you some tips in case something might happen out there where you might need some of this equipment. What is this one? In case your tire is flat or your neighbors, co-workers, it's a portable compressor. Very nice. I might show that down the road sometime. 
I've been using it quite a bit. It's pretty nice. It's better than going to a gas station or even use an air compressor. All right, change your pack right here. Wires, ropes, you name it, right there. All right, so these are just the basics. You can decide which one to do. Now, to show you here, it'll close nicely with no problem. Got a little cut out here. Put that on. That on there, just like that. Okay, now it's ready to close. So let me show you. And just like that. Slides in. As you can see, it closes flat with no problem. Why do I have this? To protect, again, you gotta protect your vehicle. All right, I'm gonna end up changing this protective film in a little bit, I'm gonna have to show you that. I've been using it quite a bit. And of course, a little tie here, take that off. And the reason for that is so I can hold that up. So when I need it, it goes over just like this to protect the bumper of your winter loadout some of you in those warm states probably don't need it but always got to be prepared blankets my little poncho liner I've had it in the army here for a long long time so of course a heated blanket in case you need it to warm up and this right here is a best friend in the winter time the worst thing to do nothing is of course fancy. going out there nothing. I'm going to show you while I'm talking here is to go out there and start scraping your windshield in the cold all right so to prevent that the best thing to do is of course it won't take that long put this on just like that all right it's nothing more than a cover what you want to do is put some barrier between the window and the snow and that's all it is all right they come in various shapes and sizes you know i mean they're not expensive, but I can tell you from experience, overall, they do come in handy, especially when a snowstorm comes or you're trying to prevent yourself from scraping all that snow and ice off your windshield, just like that. I put this on, you don't have to do it, but I just do it there. You can also use a, just a rear one. Place. You don't have to. But again, for you people out there, put it on here like this. Just like that. And it comes on here. And just put it on just like that. Alright, again, that's all it is. It's just a cross guard. You can put this over, but it's usually just like this. All right, and that's all there is to scrape it. Take it off, just put it just like this. And again, it's not expensive. You know, some people might say, ah, that's too much work. Or you might find yourself getting lazy, not doing it. But again, it's up to you. You know, I just want to show you some of the things I do. Naturally, part of getting ready for the winter is getting some de-icer fluid in there. Make sure you got it ready. You don't want to take a chance when you're out there and got slush all over your windshield and it's freezing and it freezes over. And here's what I have here. Just put it in the front or you could put it in the back anywhere you want to as long as you can access it. This is the extra loadout besides the one I have in the spare tire compartment okay here it is pretty much self-explanatory not gonna be around the bush with it and show you and read it all to you simply take it out you can either wear yours out there regular shoes slip sliding away breaking your neck or just put it on just like that real easy and it'll work like this all right real easy that's it on here and there it is it doesn't take that long 
you just adjust it and there it is all right take it off real easy i want to show you it works on different shoes so as you can see dress shoes you know again these are pretty flat so you don't want to be slipping around there with these flat soles you want to get something good on there put it on just like that and it's that easy all right here same thing and there you go just keep this in mind two seconds of putting this on will save you or probably save you from two weeks trying to walk on in your crutches all right now i wouldn't try this in your 10 inch stilettos uh mainly for the women but just to show you different shoes it work on anything all right and it's that easy there you go there you go all right now let's say you're one of those drivers like to drive around in your slippers it'll work Hey, look at that. See that? Even work on slippers. Isn't that nice? So if you have to get out of the house, go get your meal, you know, whatever, in the winter time, again, you don't be sitting out there. And I can tell you right now, especially the men, you men out there, like me when I was young, don't do that. Don't ever, ever let pride get in the way. All right, don't say, oh, if I wear this, I'm going to look like some weenie dudes. You know, I'm telling you, I spent 20 plus, 20 years in the military and forget all that, you know, looking like a wimp. All right, don't let pride get in the way. Use it. Keep staying. And of course, one of the other few things that you want for the winter time is just in case you need it. Like I said, it's always better to have it. When you need it, do not have it in your other sucking wind. And of course, gloves. It doesn't matter what type, you know, these are just little Home Depot gloves. Why? Because when you get out there and it's cold, you don't want to be freezing your fingers off. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be cold. Have it in there. Any protection is better than none. And of course, your flashlight. Something simple like this, in case you're out in the dark and you need to light it up, put it over your head. Real simple. Again, if you don't like that, and of course, you could have your little flashlight. Either way, you want to be ready in case you need it at the time. And I keep emphasizing it over and over. Do not let pride get in the way. Remember, you don't want out there sucking in the wind when that winter storm comes. Anyway, cover the side view mirror here nothing like an ice cap here it will work just fine there hold it in place rubber band and arm we call it field expedient all right do what it takes to survive it's that simple you want to keep the ice off there so that we can drive off a little better and see all right you don't like that well you could always use a shoe cover that's all it is just a shoe cover these things are not expensive I mean, they sell these side view mirror covers uh, for what, about 15 some bucks or whatever. You know, you don't need nothing that expensive. You just use this. this. This will work just as good. Why? Because you want some sort of barrier, no matter how thin, from the elements to your mirror. You don't like that or you don't have that? Heck, everyone has one of these. It's called a Walmart bag. Look at that. Huh? Magic. Just like that. You don't even need a rubber band. You just tie it off there. And just like that. I know some of you are saying that looks tacky. That looks cheap. That looks like people will just laugh at you when they see that on your 40,000 plus vehicle. Psst, don't bother that. I mean, if, if you let people bother, if you let people's opinion bother you then you have some low self-esteem all right again do not let pride get in the way 
you're going to be out there in the cold, sucking wind. You can even use this as just a barrier for the rubber to the glass so it doesn't freeze over that. All right, you can just put it over there or get a cup of these and slide it over. Just like that. If you want to. Again, it's your choice. All you want to do is put some sort of barrier, put one underneath here, some sort of barrier to prevent it from freezing over. That's it. No more, no less. Some of you probably have other ideas, other tips, things like that. Put over there. And I know some of you is going to say, why don't you just leave this up like that? And you could do that, you know, and again, there's nothing wrong with it. All you want to do is prevent it from freezing over because when that ice water hits, it's going to freeze over your blade. Okay, you know that. I wanted to show you here for the best uses, in my opinion, for these straps here, this type, you can use if you're stuck in the snow, you know, that flat yellow one, you can slide it in there so it can get a grip in the snow that's easier to deploy, in other words. This one, uh, I want you to think about it. If you're stuck somewhere where there's mud or ice or snow, it's going to be probably up to here, buried deep. But again, this is best used really to get traction, especially on ice. That's what I would use it for. Okay, you're not going to be able to get under here, but it's okay. You just need a few really. Put that out here. Get behind as best you can. Remember, you're going to be in a cold and miserable rain and whatever. Put it on here like that. And then deploy it and show you here. Just like that. You Be know, if you're going to use these, at least practice it one time. That way you know how e easy it is or how hard it is to deploy, deploy or what you need to do. You know, if you're going to be able to you know, do it or not. It's going to be cold out there. If you're having a hard time trying to pull it through, get your pliers on here and pull it through. Just like that. Pretty easy. Deploy on there. And we'll just do one more. All right. Just to show you how quickly it is. It can be used. And, of course, the straps here are all going to be on the outside. Well, you don't have to, but I recommend that so you can cut it. Just like that. All right, get it nice and snug, nice and tight. Okay, as you can see, you got plenty of room. So it's not going to grab hold of your calipers. And of course, you can cut it if you want to. And, example, uh, cut it off here. Here, when you're done, let's just say this one right here. And we're done using it and you're done deploying it this is how easy or hard it is we're going to sacrifice one again it's only 50 cents so it's not that expensive that's how easy it is to cut the same thing here you can do one or two things take your screwdriver here pry it up and pull it out just like that as you notice it broke easy all right so Again, it's just one time use really, but you can use it again. To give you an example here, if you're going to use the pliers to cut it. There it is. Alright, pretty easy to cut. Alright, you can use the scissors here. And it will cut it too, so it would no problem. Here, I'm going to try to save these. So I don't have to order another one. But again, if it breaks, it's not that expensive. Pry up like that nice and easy take your time so you don't break it and the last one here and that's basically it boys and girls I just want to show you that now for some of you who are not experienced in winter driving let me just give you a few tips a few pointers you know and hopefully it helps you some some time down the road be careful driving behind other vehicles as you might encounter the spray of the salt, slush, and whatnots that gets thrown out on the road.
So it's important that you top off your washing fluid and get all that dirt and grime off. Of course, the other one is good tires on your vehicle. The best, of course, is winter tires. Next is all weather tires versus all season tires. Right now, I've changed my OEM all season tires and I put on their Bridgestone Weather Peak. They are all weather tires. All right, not winter tires, but all weather tires. And the other tip slowly stop earlier to where you want to stop and then creep up to the stoplight or the car in front of you. I should never know. There might be a patch of ice out there you might hit and you don't want to be slamming to the back of there like a bumper car. All right. Dealing with a fender bender. So slow down, creep up and stop farther behind that vehicle ahead of you. It's important also to keep the vehicle straight when stopping. Wheels not turned so that you don't lose control. All right. Don't be turning the wheels there. Now on turns, slow down, slowly turn and accelerate carefully to pull yourself out of that turn. All right. It's real easy. If for some reason you are driving in deep snow, remember this. If you are driving in deep snow, keep that momentum going so you don't get stuck. It's that simple. You know, you don't want to get stuck in that deep snow. It'll be a headache trying to get out. And of course, in bad, slippery winter conditions, you probably do not want to use that cruise control at all. Don't even think about it. And the most important thing, the, and the most important tip I can tell you, give yourself time, plenty of time to get where you want to go. As they say, people, when they rush things, a lot of times it doesn't end up very well, all right? So be very, very careful. Don't be in such a rush. Take your time, all right? Leave your, des leave your place to where you're going, plenty of time, all right? I've seen, you've seen on the road, people rushing in and out, dodging in and out of traffic because they're in a rush to get somewhere. And that's what causes those accidents. Inattentive driver versus reckless drivers. Not a good combination. All right. And that's about all I can tell you about the tips. Uh, on the bottom here, things that you might want to put in a vehicle, uh, I'm going to show you, or I've already shown you anyway. All right. Slip on shoe traction type cleats, snow brush, ice scraper and de icers. You got warm covering like blankets, gloves, of course. You don't want to get out there in the cold with no protection for your hands. Believe it, okay? If you've never been out there in the wintertime and freezing cold, protect your hands. Get some gloves, okay? A small investment. Even work gloves or even some type of gloves. It doesn't have to be fancy or expensive. Just protect your hands. Small shovels, they help when you need them. Snow traction type pads, all right? Those are the pads I've shown you, those yellow ones. They come in different brands and colors and makes snow traction ties and portable type battery jumpers if you need it and of course like i said if recommended i mean of course if possible i recommend a good set of dedicated winter tires like the bridgestone blizzaks i made a video on you see how fast i was driving i don't recommend driving like that it was just for an example okay don't be driving like a lunatic like that see my other video and you'll see what i put them through uh, the idiot driver's test does me. Hey, that's it. Take care. Stay safe. I'm going to make a video later on on these. I replaced the OEM Dunlop Grand Trek PT20 with the Bridgestone's Weather Peak. These are all weather tires. Not all season, but all weather tires. I'll make a video because I want to see how it works in the upcoming snowstorm here in Oklahoma. See how they, they do in the ice and the snow. Well, that's about it, happy campers. Hope some of you find it useful and that if you find yourself in a severe weather situation, be glad you have the stuff and it helps you out. All right, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or donate for coffee or anything like that. Don't need any of that. You just take care. Stay safe. God bless. And thank you for watching.